okay, let's build a DIY podium for our church, Crosswind Hope and Restoration Center. That's my wife, Lore. And uh, we're looking to get some more materials like this. Of course, the uh, sanding materials. A piece of wood, one and one half. Cut them in uh, like nine inch and angle them 45 degree. You get the point right there. Use a uh, brad nail. And uh, that was my first part of the tower. The next day... Things are looking up. I have them, four of them right there. Yes, and it's starting to stand right there. Some spackling on the side or massilia. You know, every time I make something, I walk by faith. Not by sight because I'm not really a builder. Just lots of prayer. By the way, that's our pastor. And that's the podium that we used um, before. It's big. And it takes two person to carry that every time the worship service um, starts. So um, we have this in mind that, you know, hopefully it's just going to stay in front of the stage. And we don't have to have like two person carry it all the way again and again. But, you know, maybe in the future we can still use it. And I'm hoping that this podium that we're using will, you know, will, will be the one that we'll be using and... Uh, we pray that all the words of God will be spoken. Only the word of God will be spoken in this podium. Here we go. So I used that um, Japanese um, saw. It's really nice. And here we go. I have this table at the back of the house. It's an old furniture which I used as the table for the podium here. have some dimension right there. Again... Here we go. Um, blessed to have a lot of um, tools here in America. <laughs> what a blessing. Amen. So here we go. Underneath I put some uh, like um, concave shape wood that I found at the back of the house again. Really nice. And here um, starting to shape. looking good right there there's another angle I think the the height of the podium is 42 inches it's just perfect for the height and here we have to do a lot of sanding and more sanding I forgot to put my mask right there but you know what really have to have some PPE especially when you're doing the painting I have this um, air hose right here blowing air removing uh, dust particles making sure before I do the uh, painting right here my chisel became so dull just need to sharpen them this is the base of the podium and um, using a chisel and a circular or a jigsaw and just making sure it's nice and smooth right there oh this is a wonderful tool right here for angles and it's a sander that you can hold really nice you can just take your time doing this and right here it's time for my favorite part of the game putting paint I think I used four of this paint right here I got it from Home Depot like four dollars fifty cents um, matte finish um, not really glossy glossy finish it's it's much nicer when it's like a matte finish you know after this first coating you have to do another paint coating here but you have to um, look at uh, sanding and 
spackle right there it's color pink but when it's dry it turns into white so at this time put a lot of spackling right there or masilia and just again just have to sand it over and over again all right there you go and painting here spray paint PPE safety first the aerosol it's not good for your lungs hey that's my uh, little garage right there and here is I believe this is the second coating and just have to put it under the sun for like 30 45 minutes it dries quickly okay oh this is our worship game. by the way that's my son Gil. the drummer oh so blessed and here you go ladies and gentlemen uh, the podium is now part of the family of cross with hope and restoration center this is sunday right now and uh, yeah it's blessing that's our pastor Ramon and here we go custom built DIY podium to God be the glory have a blessed day <laughs>